module of the month is round of applause, SH. Woo. Now, um, I discovered SH about a year ago. I think SH is a dirty, horrible hack that should never, ever be used uh, by anybody sane. However, I think it makes for a very fun five minute presentation. So uh, first of all, let me just set up some stuff. All right, uh, you know, we all know the OS. So let me change into a directory. Let me open a file here, st stash some stuff in there. And um, right here is where the magic happens. SH is a module. And in that module is a grab bag of anything you want, right? So here I'm going to say from sh import ls and type enter. What this does, I go into sh, does some module import magic that checks, all right, he asked for ls. Let me check the, the path. Oh, I found an executable called ls, right? Let me stick that into a function and do all the subprocess uh, 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 kung fu such that when you type in ls and you print out the output, it'll print out the command ls, right? And um, so what you can do, first of all, is stash the contents into a string, but also you can pass arguments and option flags to ls. So in this case, I say l equals true. What this will do in the underlying command line is do ls dash l, because the l flag is a, is a Boolean flag. It'll just stick it in. So now I have content, which is a string containing my, the content of my ls. So if I print it out, it's as if I printed out the ls. Well, but it is, it's a string, right? So I can do all the Python-y stuff I want to do to that string. So let me split by return line. Give me this first line there, and then split that again by uh, white space, right? And suddenly I have a list of that line where I can start messing around with, with all those elements as a Python string and pass that to other commands as I want, right? So you can do uh, more complicated things, right? So let me open, I don't know, a file and write some C code. All right, this is all basic uh, C101 hello world return zero um, because we're Unix compliant. So now I'm going to import my favorite compiler from SH. I'm going to say to CLang, all right, I want to compile this file, give it an argument, and give this as an option flag. So it'll do dash O this string, right? It happens in the background. Now this is where it gets more complicated, right? When I said from SH import LS, it checked my path. Well, if you all played around with C compilers, my current directory is not in my path, right? So how do I access it? Well, there's an object in SH called the command object, right? And I say command, type in the actual command you want. So it's dash, dot slash hello. So my clang here, my compiler, which is clang is uh, like GCC, uh, compiled my hello.c into a hello executable. And it's, so dot slash hello is in my current directory. And it's now stored in this hello variable as a command. And if I call it, hello world. This is the standard out that was just spit out. Um, and this is basically it. I'd highly recommend you to check the docs. There's a lot more stuff about uh, passing in input. There's a good example on how to use SSH with this. So if you have to type in an SSH password into it, uh, there's a lot of Kung Fu related, but it's all well documented. And basically, yeah, just start playing around with it. I, you know, if you want this as a replacement for a shell or really throw away bash scripts, but you've got to do something more complicated, so you do it in Python, I'd recommend this. If you don't do this in like a web server or anything <laughs> really important, because that, it's, it's, it's really nice, but it's not as, say, toughed out as subprocess. You're going to hit problems with signals and whatnot. But for little throwaway scripts, this is great. It's, and it's a lot of fun. So uh, let me just clean up things, right? Uh, this is all my crap. And that's it. Thank you very much.